trochanteric bursitis. It is a pain of the lateral hip over the greater trochanter, which is aggravated by direct pressure. It occurs due to bursitis, which is painful inflammation of the bursa located just superficial to the greater trochanter of the femur, underneath the iliotibial band. It occurs in people with overuse condition, like in sports, such as running and bicycling usually associated with repetitive hip and knee flexion, bending, and extension straightening. Watch the position of this problem. It is usually at the outer side of the hip. You can see the gluteus maximus muscle and the iliotibial band in this video. Here is a patient identifying the area of the pain at the outside of the hip region. Usually the pain is worse when pressing on the outside of the hip. Pain can occur with walking or climbing upstairs. What causes trochanteric bursitis? Direct injury to the hip, such as falling or bumping against objects directly. Overuse such as running, bicycling, standing, or increased activity. Medical conditions such as gout and rheumatoid arthritis. Differential diagnosis of trochanteric bursitis, piriformis syndrome. The pain is slightly posteriorly. This condition is caused by repetitive motion leading to pain in the buttock, often causing tingling numbness that runs down the leg. The sciatic nerve is usually pinched by a piriformis muscle, producing the sensation of pain and tingling and numbness in the leg. The second one in the differential diagnosis is the gluteus medius tear. Partial tear of the gluteus medius tendon at its insertion into the greater trochanter can mimic the pain of the greater trochanter bursitis. Number three is a stress fracture of the hip, means femoral neck. It occurs in athletes, especially runners, or people who have an osteoporosis. Treatment of trochanteric bursitis includes anti-inflammatory medication, physical therapy, injection, usually a blind injection into the bursa is done, rarely ultrasound-guided injection. Surgery when conservative treatment fails. The surgery is usually for bursectomy. Make sure you don't have a piriformis syndrome because you can always do the surgery for piriformis syndrome when you excise the bursa. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.